Hello, my name is Beth McGill. I'm a language of dance specialist, and today I'll be leading you through an action and stillness warm up. So, to begin, let's start in stillness, focusing on the breath. And notice how the energy radiates from your body. How does it feel to inhabit the space, the volume of who you are? You can even trace the outline of yourself wherever you are, whether standing, sitting, or lying down. Trace the edges of you in a three-dimensional way in your mind's eye so that you can sense exactly where you are. All the spaces with energy flowing out of each cell the cells on the back of the head, the top of the head, the ears, the neck, the shoulders, the upper arms, the lower arms, the hands, the chest, the waist, the pelvis, the upper legs, the lower legs, the ankles, the feet, the bottoms of the feet. And then start to take micro movements. So just very small actions, noticing where you are and how these micro movements are part of the dance, are part of the experience of moving. Tiny little things, maybe a raise of the shoulder, a flicker of the fingers, an easy bend and straightening of the legs, maybe a tiny head jiggle, opening and closing the eyes or the mouth. Taking time for these micro movements and honoring them as actions, honoring them as part of dance. And then letting those actions grow in space, start to reach into your kinesphere, noticing all the space around you and how your body can inhabit this space, how it feels to be expansive in your actions and what that does to your thoughts floating through the space, slicing through the space, carving through the space, vibrating through the space. So many options in exploring the space around you with action. And then right where you are, pause and breathe and feel stillness wherever you happen to be. And we'll be alternating between action and stillness throughout today's warm-up. So start to notice where you are in space, where you happen to be when I call out stillness. And let's begin to move again. Any action, any action flowing through the space, maybe reaching even wider into that kinosphere so that we're really looking at the edges of our reach and how much length we can inhabit, how much depth we can inhabit, how much width. And then find a moment of stillness and breathe. And action again, reaching high and low to the side, forward and back, maybe rotating one way or the other, just moving in any way that feels really fun and rewarding for you. So you can just get all of your, all of your wiggles out, all of your, your squiggles and your, your itches and your scratches so that your whole body is alive in this action and so many varieties of action right? You can make long lines in your action. You can make curves. You can make angles. You can flex. You can extend. You might even travel a little bit. You can take some steps. You can lower into the low level, reach into the high level. You can lower yourself to the floor. 
floor. You can lay on your back or lay on your side or lay on your belly. All of these actions are available to us. So many, right? The goal is to move. So we're just exploring options and then finding stillness. Wherever you happen to be, take a nice deep breath in the stillness. And again, flowing into action. And let's play with the idea of muscular resistance as we're doing our actions. So we're going to bind our flow in our actions. We bind our flow and we start to feel a sense of thickness in the core, thickness in the cells or in the muscles, so that there's a sense of resistance and there's a a tightness and a, and a healthy form of tension, right? An energy that gets bottled inside the muscles. It becomes a potential energy to be unleashed and find stillness and feel this bound flow even in your stillness. So we inhabit stillness with a lot of energy and a lot of muscular activity and then back into action and let the movement flow, free flow, just cascade out of the body, no resistance, no restriction, no limitation, just flowing, 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 like water upward or downward, water falling to the right, to the left, twisting, rolling on the ground, whatever is available to you here, and then stillness. And in this stillness, feel that you are still flowing inside of your body, that there's a muscular space inside of stillness, that there's an energy that's flowing outward, that you are inhabiting your whole self. And action again. And this time, start to explore the transition between binding your flow and freeing your flow. So you might explore moments of tension, moments of tightness, moments of restriction, and then releasing it into free flow and then stillness. And again, action. And so you're exploring now all these combinations of free flow, bound flow, and stillness using any action that's available to you. You can explore elements of balancing and falling. You can explore changing your weight or finding a new support. You might even step in place or spring in place, just playing with all that is available to you and noticing the type of energy that you use inside of your action. And then stillness. Remember moments of stillness and keep playing. Maybe a quick action and then stillness. And now punctuate each action with a moment of stillness. An action, an action, an action, an action. An action, an action, an action, and any action, any action, an action, an action stillness. And again, any action flowing, letting the actions overlap. So maybe one arm gesture overlaps with another arm gesture, overlaps with a leg gesture. Or maybe the arms and the legs want to move simultaneously. So now playing with sequential actions, maybe an arm and then a head and then a hip and then a foot or all of that happening at the same time, simultaneously moving and arriving in the same moment. And stillness. And action stillness. And action stillness. And action stillness. Now light, quick, actions. Action, 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 action. Light, 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 light. Fast, 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 fast. All sorts of different actions. Ba, ba, ba. Stillness. 
Now long, sustained actions. Reaching into the space, ever going. Carving through the space, exploring duration with action. Lots of time and stillness. Quick action and stillness. Quick action and stillness. Sustained action. Sustain, 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 sustain. Stillness. And quick, light and quick again. Ba, be, ba, 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 be, de, 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 de. Stillness. Action. Ba, ba. Stillness. Action. Ba, 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 ba. And play with this rhythm. Notice how you can create rhythm. You can create phrasing just playing with this incredible alternation between action and stillness. And again, action and stillness in any rhythm. Find your rhythm. How do you like to move? Do you like to move in a sustained way? Do you like to move in a fast, quick way? Do you like to move with free flow in an indulgent energy? Or maybe with a little bit of bound flow, a little bit of uh, fighting energy? Keep exploring what is available to you. Keep exploring all of the details of this experience. Action and stillness. Action and stillness. In any pace, at any way, whatever feels most enlivening to you right now, own your choices. Own your decisions to be still. How long will you be still? And stillness doesn't mean relaxation, right? You might end up in a precarious place and be in stillness and have to hold it and fight for it and use all of your strength to be there. And let's come to a neutral place. Take a few deep breaths. Beautiful. Coming to rest. Noticing all there is to notice about your body, about your mind. We worked through a few different variations of action and stillness. We played with the flow of our energy in action and stillness. We played with duration, sustained, long duration, and quick, short, fast. And then we also explored some overlapping or sequ and sequential actions, and then simultaneous actions. A rich, a rich exploration. And my favorite way to think about it is, yes, Hamlet asked to be or not to be. But in dance, the question is to move or not to move. It's all dance. Dancing in action, dancing in stillness. Thank you so much, and I look forward to our next session.